connecting to access server from Linux works a little differently than on other systems. You'll need a client program that captures the traffic you want to send through the OpenVPN tunnel, encrypts it, sends it to the server, and then uh, decrypts the traffic coming back. Access server supports uh, VPN connections on Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS through our uh, official VPN client, OpenVPN Connect. On the other hand, on Linux, things are handled uh, a bit differently. Instead of uh, OpenVPN Connect, you can use an open source client for the network manager. You just provide the client or a VPN plugin with your connection profile and start the VPN session. There is also the OpenVPN 3 Linux project, a newer client built on the OpenVPN uh, 3 core library. The same library used in OpenVPN Connect. It takes a different approach designed to let regular non-admin users start and manage their own VPN sessions. Starting with OpenVPN 3 Linux version 21, we're making packages available through uh, software repositories. In this video, we're gonna walk through how to install OpenVPN 3 on your Linux machine. The easiest way to do this, uh, visit our website, openvpn.net. Then search for a client for a Linux. And you can see here, OpenVPN client for Linux. Click on the link. On the following page, you get a brief description of the client. And if you scroll down uh, to installation, you can see a link that says install OpenVPN 3 Linux. Click on the link. And on this page, you can see the pre-built packages uh, with the distribution name. Uh, we will need these names uh, later on uh, when we uh, run some of the commands. Um, also, if you scroll down, you can see the commands that you can uh, run to install uh, your OpenVPN 3. Now, um, in uh, this video, I'm using an Ubuntu version 25.04. So for the distribution package, I will need uh, to use uh, this name plucky here. So under the distribution column, this is the name that I'm gonna use um, on our step three, basically. So we're gonna see that in a second. So let's go back to the installation uh, part here. Uh, very first thing we need to do, we need to run this command to make sure that supported packages are already installed. So I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, copy this command, and uh, let's do a side-by-side -side with my terminal, and I paste that command here in my uh, terminal. Okay, this part is done. Uh, let's go to step two. Uh, step two, we need to retrieve the OpenVPN uh, package uh, signing key, so let's uh, first make a directory, we're gonna copy and paste that here, and then we're gonna run uh, the next command. So let's copy that and paste it. Uh, the next step is where we need to replace uh, where it says distribution with the name that uh, we saw earlier in our uh, table. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, copy this command here and then paste it. But before we run, we need to change the distribution. Again, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, uh, name that we need to use here, it is plucky. So let's go back to our terminal and we're gonna go to distribution. Uh, let's replace it uh, with uh, plucky. And hit enter. Then the following step, or the last step, this is where we're gonna run these two commands to uh, install our OpenVPN 3. So first let's do the updates, and then we do the install. VPN 3. Let's confirm this, continue. Okay, this is how we install the OpenVPN 3 Client. Now let's talk about how to uh, import the profile and uh, connect to access server. Again, if we're going to the um, uh, earlier page, the main page, here we can see uh, it says uh, using OpenVPN 3 Linux with access server. Uh, there is a link here uh, about importing a connection profile dir uh, directly using the OpenVPN 3 Linux uh, client. So we're gonna click on this link. First, we wanna make sure that 
Um, we have the latest version of the OpenVPN 3 um, client, so let's go ahead and check that. And we can see the version is uh, version 25 here. Uh, let's go ahead and clear the board. Okay, the next step is download and import a connection profile. This is the command that we need to run. We just have to uh, replace the uh, this part with the server address, your access server address, and give a name to the profile. But uh, if you scroll down, and uh, we're gonna go down here, additional example command. So there are some additional commands that you can run. For example, if you are uh, downloading and imp importing a user log profile using the access server IP address, then you need to run this command. Uh, basically, we need to uh, make sure that we include the insecure certs. If we downloading uh, and importing an auto login profile using the access server domain name, then we run this, we add the auto login. Uh, if we run uh, download and import the auto login profile using the access server IP address, then this is the command that we're running. So I'm gonna grab this one since uh, we're using an IP address as our server address. Uh, let's copy this, paste it in our terminal, and I'm gonna replace this IP address with my server address. And then uh, we need to give a name here as well, where it says uh, the config, my config name. And I'm gonna use my uh, username as uh, config name. So one of my users name uh, is uh, Tom. So we're setting this up for Tom uh, and hit enter. It's asking for the username. Tom is going to type his username and password. And here we go. Profile imported successfully. Uh, the configuration name uh, is Tom and then the path. Now we need to connect. Again, if you go back to this page here and you scroll up, you're gonna see a, a section here, connect to the VPN server. Uh, we need to run this uh, command uh, with the config name that we just gave. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste it in a terminal, and uh, replace the config name with uh, Tom we just created, and hit enter. And here we go, we are connected. So if I run an IP address here, we can see this is our local and then TAN01, uh, here it is. So we are connected. So this is how uh, basically you install the OpenVPN3 Linux on your Linux machine and import the profile, a user profile and connect to the access server. For more information, you can always go to our website, openvpn.net uh, and uh, we have documentations and tutorials on the resources uh, tab.